Hi! I'm sure that everyone on this channel already knows how a full bridge rectifier works, but I thought I'd make a circuit so we can clearly visualize that. So here's what I came up with. Instead of using four regular diodes, I used four LEDs to build the diode bridge. You would typically never want to do this because LEDs are very inefficient for this purpose due to their high voltage drops and low reverse breakdown voltages. But it is a good way to see exactly how a bridge rectifier works. And here is another LED that is used as the load. So here is the circuit diagram. And uh, I drew a thick line here to illustrate the current flow during the positive cycle. As you can see that these two LEDs are essentially conductive. And of course, the current flows through the load this way. Now during the negative half, the current actually flows the alternate way and also through the load LED back through this LED back here. So when in operation, I would expect these two sets of LEDs are going to be illuminated in alternate fashion. Because our power line cycles are at 60 Hz, which is too fast for our eyes to see the switching. So I'm going to use a signal generator to generate a 1 Hz sinusoidal wave so that we can clearly see what is going on. And now as you can see that we set the output to 1 Hz. So I'm going to enable the output and uh, let's observe what we can see on the circuit board here. And as you can see here, indeed, these two sets of LEDs are alternating, and that's because they each conduct in half of the cycle. And the load LED, on the other hand, is oscillating at a frequency of uh, twice of that input due to the fact that the output is being rectified. So now let's uh, put on a filter cap and see what the filter cap does to the output. And for that, I'm going to just connect the filter cap right here. And you can see that the output is indeed uh, becoming much smoother than before. And uh, how smooth the output really is, is going to be dependent on the RC constants. In this case, will be the load resistor here serves as the input resistor to this RC circuitry. So right now at 1 Hz, you can see the with this 1000 microfarad capacitor, we're already very, very smooth. And of course, if we just increase the output frequency here, as you can see, uh, ignore those four LEDs, you will see that the actual output is going to be much smoother than the 1 Hz situation that we see right here. Of course, bridge rectifiers are not just limited to sinusoidal waveforms. So now let's take a look at how it rectifies a square wave. For that, I'm going to change the input waveform, change it to square wave. So, As you can see, the output LED stays lit and no filtering cap is required. This is because when the square wave is being rectified, the output is essentially a DC voltage without any ripple. Now, I hope you liked the video. Please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I will catch up with you next time.